What's up YouTube? It's Kyle with uh, K2 Media. Um, it's a couple days after Christmas. Just got a few uh, new gifts that I'd like to um, put a quick tutorial on. I've spent a good amount of time working on this. This is Chave Show Express. I saved up a while to buy it and then I uh, used some gift cards that I got for Christmas too. So, um, Without further ado, uh, real quick I'll show you what we're dealing with and I'll show you a couple of the, um, the uh, macros that I've built in. This is Paige. She's been the approver so far of all the light shows, so it is 14 months old. Okay, uh, so we got a Sony Vio that I'm running Chave Show Express on. Um, I got the uh, just the 512 box. I didn't get the plus or whatever. It's just too expensive. Um, uh, I could not get so far. I could not get my Show Express to work on my MacBook. It will run, yeah. but it does not contain. It doesn't. Um, remain in a constant PC link so every five seconds or so <laughs> everything goes black um, and then it'll uh, come back on after you know maybe five or ten seconds see that green PC link button right there I don't know if you can actually see it but it's that right there so anyway that should be flashing green and I've got it working fine with the Windows system I don't have it working consistently with the MacBook Pro so um, all right, these are just the lights that I've got set up for. Uh, up top, we got a Chave color band picks. And then on the two outsides on the bottom rail, we have two Venue Slim Par 64s. And then um, the two inner moving heads are Chave Spot 150s, um, the Intimidator. So um, I've got like a swarm right there, uh, but I've got it plugged in. I don't think I've got any of the light shows programmed for it. So. Um, without further ado. Alright, I'm not going to really make this a tutorial about Show Express. Um, John Caniford, um, who's on YouTube, has done a like a four or five or I'm not sure how many part series on Show Express tutorials. They're excellent. Um, so I'd re recommend watching them if you're wanting to learn. But I'm just going to show you a couple of the, the scenes that I've built in and some of the things that I've done. Hopefully that will make it a little bit easier for me. The first thing that I've done on all my wash lighting, which I don't know if you can see wash lighting, and I, I've added fade in and fade out. If you right click, you can actually add a fade in and a fade out. And I've got that on all the channels, or all the uh, colors, which I, I think will make things look a little bit better, specifically with the wash lighting. Now, I did not do that on any gobos on the spots or some of the scenes that I programmed in. Um, uh, but uh, anyway, so I'll click uh, this pink wash right here and then you'll see what I do so click fades in nicely I guess it's more of a magenta um, but uh, fades pretty nicely okay so then if I go to a completely unrelated color and go to green I'll click it the pink or the magenta fades out the green fades in um, you know nice nice green wash uh, throughout there so um, got all kinds, I'm not going to go through all these, but, um, red, I've got red, you know, color bar with the yellow outsides, i got green color bar with the green outsides, or with the cyan outsides, I'll show you real quick, uh, that's green, I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but I'll click the green with the cyan outside, and then you'll see it fade, you know, to cyan while the middle remained green, okay. So anyway, I, I built a couple of these, nothing nothing real crazy, just some stuff that I thought I may use throughout, you know, uh, a, a wedding gig or, you know, whatever. Um, I did build one that's got, I don't know, probably 15 scenes in it. All the rest of these are just single scenes. This one's called a color fade. When you click on it, and I've got it drawn out over an extended period of time, so it'll take a little time. But anyway, it'll go through all the colors in the spectrum that are capable with my RGB fixtures. Um, you see it kind of fading the blue right now. I, I've got each step taking like a minute. So it, it's a really, really gradual fade. All right, let me turn that off. And you'll see when I turn it off, it'll fade out uh, pretty nicely. Uh, like that. Okay. So here's a couple of uh, the items that I built. Um, uh, so I built this one. It's called, I, I called it Police Search Lights. And I, I was just, it really was the first scene that I made. And, uh, and I was trying to think of a creative way that I could, number one, kind of learn to use the software, but number two, maybe use it in a gig. 
And so I have a siren effect that every now and then I use, particularly like if, if we're going to open the dance floor, or we're going to a line dance, um, you know, or whatever the case is. So real quick, I'll click this police searchlights. And uh, if you have seizures, don't look. All right. And it's kind of hard to tell because we've got so many lights on in the room. My wife's building one of her presents. But anyway, so that top color bar alternates red and blue every, I think, one and a half seconds. And then the, the venues on the outside are alternating red and blue, each one. And then the uh, the intimidators are, are searching the room like red and blue. So, anyway, you get the idea. It's just like a... See if we can just hold the state. Anyway, so red and blue searchlights go everywhere. So nothing really fa fancy or you know anything like that, but kind of a creative way to tie in the siren. Um, here, here's the siren. I'll play it really quick. Um, and I don't even know if I can do it. Just the siren on virtual DJ. So anyway, so I thought that may be kind of a creative way to kind of use some lights. Of course, click it and and they'll fade out. Slowly fade out and go back to neutral. Okay. Another thing that I did was I built a strobe button and a blackout button. And this is um, some of the stuff, uh, some of the ideas for layering that I got from John's tutorial. Because prior I had like a million buttons on here and I probably still have too many. But um, so say I want to go to, uh, which one will show up good? Like a red wash. Okay. So all the red washes or all the red wash lights will, will come on. Okay, now if I hit, if I touch S for strobe, it'll strobe. You know, so that's pretty cool. All right, I let go of S and it stays back on. Okay, and what that is, that's actually called a, um, when you right click on them, on the buttons, that's called a button trigger. That's where I got the S from. And then the flash button, I don't know if you can really see that. Flash button is uh, so that it only stays on while I'm holding the button. So in other words, if I if I click strobe, it's not going to stay on. It goes right back off. Now blackout, I've got, um, if I do a capital B, let me go up here to lights, capital B, it goes to blackout mode, you know, which is convenient because the reason I did capital B is because I've got B set up for the blue wash. So capital B would be for the blackout. Now I did not do that as a as a flash button because I didn't want to just sit here and hold B the whole time I wanted a blackout. Um, uh, so pretty creative, uh, or not necessarily creative, but you know I think useful. Okay, and then lastly, so I got four boxes here. The top left is wash lights. The top right is special effects. The bottom left is my spot 150 colors. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just hit pink, for instance, or magenta. All right, and then as soon as I hit it, it comes up. You know, now they're in the neutral factory, you know, position. Um, so now if I want to change gobos, I, which is my last box here, say I want to go to the star um, gobo, just touch it, and it goes to the stars. So it's pretty interesting. So what, what I did not do was do like, or what I previously had done until I watched John's video was I had like a pink stars, you know, and then I had like, you know, green shell, uh, which is this one down here uh, or, or whatever. And then, so watching his layering video was, was really incredible. I, I would suggest that you watch it. It saves me a ton of videos or a ton of buttons. The last thing I did is I signed images specifically for all the gobos to hear just in case I'm not the one that's ever using this. Sometimes I hire people to help me depending on the size, the size of the show that we're doing. Um, but you know, cause one of them's like that one's stars and then that one's like a star wheel or whatever. I called it circular star star, but by putting the shapes in the background, you know, it, it's a quick reference, but it's also, um, you know, a way to, so that in case someone who's running, who doesn't necessarily know what the gobos are, it's just literally as easy as, you know, click. And they go from the, the, the mini stars to like that circular star or whatever. So anyway, so far, uh, the first about 12 hours that I had to express, I hated it. Uh, and that's mostly because I was trying to deal, do it with my MacBook. I could not figure out why it kept going in and out. And I still haven't figured it out. But then I downloaded it, uh, the software for the, um, for the Windows laptop. 
and and I've been very 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 happy with it now that I've kind of got some stuff going I had to swallow my pride and watch some of the tutorials so anyway uh, post any questions or comments that you have below um, uh, and um, practice and enjoy <laughs>